I'm Priest. I'm over here at uh, American Strength Gym. And uh, I have two assistants over here. I have Bree Teagan and, uh, and Haley Anderson. And they're going to be helping me uh, show everybody about the setups that we use at Nemesis and here at American Strength. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with Bree over here. Bree's going to get a grip in the bar. So we're going to show a couple different kinds of setups. One is going to be on the toes and one's flat footed, but they both go from the same exact setup. So she's basically going to put the bar right about where her belly button is, a little bit higher, and then she's going to plant her feet. Depending on how flexible you are, if you're not that flexible, you bring them closer to the bar. So you bring it in close, and then when you roll back, it's not that tough. So if you're a little bit more flexible than the average bear, we'll move you out to where Bree normally is. And then the wider you are, you're a little bit more stable you are. But if you're not that flexible, we'd have to move you in. Okay, go ahead. So Bree rolls back. She's still on her toes. Now a lot of people kept saying to me, well, I don't like being on my toes like this. She's not actually on her toes like this. She's actually on all of her foot and the pads of her toes are like this, okay? They're like that. So that way, her heel, when she drives it down, there's only one place it can go. Now, if she's on the ball of her foot, like right in the middle, go ahead, put it right in the middle, there's a lot of sway here. So she could possibly be off by a quarter inch on one, one side, and it'll make you twist. So, if we get on that type of toe right there, and we push it down, basically what she's doing is she's trying to take her heels and, and touch the floor with it. At the same time, she's trying to take her legs, even though it's physically impossible, we try to push them back towards her lift off that. So, basically her knees are going to try to lock. It's physically impossible, but she's going to get a good leg drive out of it. Now, when she's set up over here, she's basically set up on the back of her neck, so I can't fit my hands through there. So she's got her chin down, if her chin's up, it makes a lot of space in, so she's not gonna get a great push out of the bottom. But if she's here, <laughs> how many people have seen somebody back, she come out of the bottom and their chin turns one way and everything starts twisting? Well, he has to keep the chin straight, if your chin, chin straight, the bar should be straight, okay? Um, so on her uh, shoulder blades, the feeling she's gonna have when she sets up is I tell everybody, imagine you have a quarter that's in between your shoulder blades and you pinch your shoulder blades together and you hold that quarter the whole time. That way that quarter doesn't fall out and that'll keep you nice and tight. So Haley's going to lift off. Now when she takes it out here, she's not taking it over her face, she's not taking it over her shoulders, she's not belly dumping it. Now when she comes out of the bottom, instead of that guy benching, which is coming down, pushing straight up like this, but sometimes you don't get the actual lockout call because you'll be in the ballpark, you know? Where, where uh, so what we do is we have her push away from the weight, uh, out of the bottom, pushing away from the weight, boom, and she's turning the bar over like this. So she's keeping her shoulders behind her chest, turning the bar over, so it's a quick boom. So what she doesn't want to do is swing it out here. Now all of a sudden, your chest is not, your shoulders not behind your chest. You're not getting that great push out of the bottom. So most of the time, when I see a lot of guys lifting heavy, don't swing their arms out and boom, it gets popped back. So basically, we want them to push away from the weight. So that's basically it right there. Now the setup for flat-footed, 